lot of barroom brawls that happen in here, a lot of fights. A lot of the dock workers, they come in here, get hammered, and, you know, just get in fights all the time. And you can see, you know, it's apparent. The stat statue's been tipped over quite a few times. You know, all kinds of, you know, people's names are carved into the table, carved into the wood walls. You know, there's... I look around, Dave, and I'm seeing some of the people in here. I'm trying to get a gauge of of what, what uh, class of people... Uh, I know us, but I'm looking at, like, this table over here with this halfling. I'll go ahead and ping it. Uh, I want to get a good idea of the type of people that are frequenting this place. They all look like adventurers. Hmm. Yeah, you you look around. You see some other people. Uh, but first, you see that four uh, four people do open the door, and they walk over to the bar. And these, these people, uh, they sit down at the bar. So I will go ahead and place their their tokens also. Okay. So this is happening now. The barkeep uh, she does yell over at uh, at Fatmar, and she says, "Come on, Fatmar, we got more people over here. I need you over here." And then he he looks at you. I I wish you would quit calling me Fatmar. My name not Fatmar. He goes, "I be back. Enjoy your soup." Thank you. And then he walks over. I slid my soup to the gnome. <clears throat> uh, you probably don't want a gnome to eat too much cabbage. It gives me the wind. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine. You're usually at the back anyway. Yeah, I guess we're alright then. That means I get disadvantage in all stealth rolls. Good thing you, you don't do the stealth then. <laughs> you can actually hear several of the other tables mention uh mention about the the light and you can hear the the four guys that just came up to the table you can also hear them talking about uh the lighthouse also so it seems like this might be the uh the talk of the day especially here at here at the laughing goblin so uh, w assessing the the four people that walked up to the bar are they are they also <clears throat> getting food and are just chatting or are they in to oh, yeah. to kind of look yep. for a mission the bar, the barmaid she's uh, she's putting down tankards she's putting down tankards for them they're definitely drinking uh, looks like fat mar is you know writing stuff down on his on his uh, parchment and he eventually walks back to the back you hear more, you hear more yelling <laughs> you know more more pots and pans clanking around back there and then Fatmar comes back out and sets down what appears to be four more bowls of, of cabbage soup uh, to the what appear to be dock workers. They, they definitely look like they are their dock workers, that's for sure. Just by the way that they're dressed, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and, and walk over to one of the dock workers. How about this guy here that's closest to Fatmar? And uh, talk to him a little bit. Yeah, what do you want? So I hear that. Uh, uh, I he hear goes, that "Oh, the, I didn't uh, see it on there." As he as he looks down, <laughs> as you're as you're tugging on his, his shorts. Yeah, I got a tug on his. <laughs> I got a tug on the back of his shirt a little bit, and I'm like, I'm like, "Hey, I uh, how you doing?" Or as we say in gnomish, <laughs> "Gudenflob." I, I don't know, man. We're just What's gonna it roll to you? It. What, what What do you want? Do I know you? I don't oh, know. You. No, I don't know no. you anything, do I? No, you don't know us anything. We're I'm traveling with that group over there, and I I motioned to the people over at that table, and I'm like, oh yeah, we're we're always uh -huh. looking for excitement. Looks like royalty, <laughs> and he kind of chuckles. And <laughs> you hear that, guys? <laughs> royalty. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yeah, you hear him chuckling about royalty instead. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you hear him say royalty. Yeah. Time to get up. Oh my so, goodness! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Somebody's gonna get stabbed in the throat. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna move over so I can get a better view of this. Game. And you, you do know that the that the black guard does patrol pretty regularly down here in the docks. <laughs> I like how I like how Dex is okay, I get up. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I look at this guy and I'm like uh and I'm like saying, So, uh we were just hearing from uh Fat Mar that <laughs> there's Fat a Mar. lighthouse. Fatmar, I I don't know how to 
say that without sounding insulting, but we just heard from Fat Mar that there's a, a, a lighthouse is having problems. Do you know anything about the lighthouse and the uh, issues? Yeah, well, well I'm a Zell here. <laughs> I think she calls him that just to get under her skin, and she just kind of looks over at him and, and winks. This is the, 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 the bartender. She just kind of winks over at this guy. And he goes, yeah, it's, it's the talk of the town today. Actually, it has been for the last couple days. Usually we're working, but uh, there's really no work right now. So, so we're here, ringing up our tabs. So have you ever known the lighthouse to just randomly go <clears throat> out before? No, it's usually always on. First time I've ever seen it go out. Well, the, you know... The Sokols, they, they own the keep now, but... Uh, and they've got some young kid over there running it. Uh, but, I mean, the light went out. I, I, I can't get over there to the island. So how do we get around to the island? We'd, we'd really like to help, but uh, getting to the <laughs> island might be kind of a challenge without a boat. Do you know where we can get one? Yeah, you could probably, you could probably talk to, uh, I don't know, maybe Leela or... You might be able to talk to maybe the, the, the guy that runs the ferries also. So, uh, how often do the ferries run? Usually, usually they'll, they'll, they'll take you out any time. They'll usually take you I, I don't think it's very much. But I don't know. They, they, there's just special cases. I, I don't know if they're going to let you out or... I don't know if you're going to go over there to fix it, or I, nobody's even gone over there to fix it. So, and there's guards over there. We know that there's uh, some black guards there. They usually, you know, keep watch over the keep and 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 take care of the the young royalty over there that's supposedly running the place. And have you heard from the black guards at all? Do they ever come into the bar? No, they don't come over here. No, they better not come in here. They know not set set a foot in here. <laughs> I, uh, I have a question. I, uh... Yeah, guy spins. Around. What is that? Yeah, hello. Oh, that, that, that's a skeleton. That's an old scurvy skeleton sitting down in a chair by the door. <laughs> <laughs> that's his interesting. Is, his name is Scurvy. <laughs> Looks like a nice guy. Yeah. He was gonna go out to the he was gonna go out to the lighthouse to fix it, but he didn't have the guts. <laughs> oh man! Anyway, oh, nice. So I I go ahead and um I look this guy up and down and I give him kind of a nod and I say thanks thanks for the information. Maybe uh maybe we can help help out your town a little bit and figure out what's going over there what's going on over in that lighthouse. Yeah, that would be good. Although I do kind of like hanging out over here all day, just kind of drinking and, and eating this fine cabbage soup. I don't know if it's a good idea to eat cabbage soup every day, just FYI. It's kind of a special treat, in my view. <clears throat> the uh, the bartender looks over and she says, Oh, no, 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 the, the, the soup's very good. She's kind of looking at like looking at you like, don't deter my customers. <laughs> although, right. although she's really not getting paid because they're ringing up a bar tab, <laughs> and they have no money, so uh, I'll go well, ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and flip. As a matter of fact, since I'm since I'm loaded, I'll go ahead and flip Ma and the uh, Isa. Whatever. Did you say Ma? <laughs> fat Fat Ma. Oh, uh, Fat. Was Ma. it? Oh, Fat, fat Ma. Ma. And Isamel, I'll go ahead and flip Fat Ma a uh, gold piece, and I'll say, "Go ahead and share that with with Isamel," and then I I kind of go back to the table. <laughs> we'll watch him fight over one gold piece. <laughs> he says, "I I I I share with her, but she mean." And he kind of just mumbles something as he as he walks off and. She just, you know, looks over at you and, and nods and, and, and yells thanks from across the bar. Thank ya! <clears throat> I'll nod. Knowingly. You missed out on sneak attack, right? <laughs> I mean, now you don't have an Oh, yeah, that's too bad. 
<laughs> I was waiting for him to finish this conversation because I didn't want to just be like, Hey, you! What are you doing? So, uh, that way he's in the middle of asking him information. It's not a game if we don't get kicked out of every freaking bar and fail clan. <laughs> and this is, this is notorious well, for its fighting, so... Well, one of my traits is I like to start bar fights, and I am very prideful and all that kind of stuff. Yes, you are. So, since he's done with this conversation, I've waited patiently enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go up to the guy and... Like, I guess I, do, I guess since the gnome actually like turns around or something about like nudge him on his shoulder or something like that. <laughs> he looks over at you and he goes, "Hey, how you doing, sweet, sweet cheeks?" You know, does this look like royalty to you? <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, just get, can't you take a can't you take a joke, sweet cheeks? Come on and come up here and have a drink with us. What's your I name? can drink you under the table. You're a lightweight in comparison to me. Oh, a couple of a couple of the other guys at the at the bar. They're like, "Oh boy, here we go." <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "What? What's your name, Sweet Cheeks?" You can call me Rain. That's... He introduces himself as Jarlin. Jarlin. <laughs> Where's my pen? J A R L A N. And he hasn't seen you around here before. He he asks you, "Are you from Flan? Are you just passing through, or because I know you're not from a boat?" Ha <laughs> ha! And he had all the other guys, they start laughing. I was actually left for dead by my ship. Left for dead? What ship were you on? Miss Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I I, I want to listen to that song now by the. Uh, Lonely yeah, that's voice. what I thought of when she said it. <laughs> She's from the, um, the Pearl. What's it? The, the Black Pearl or something? I'm from the Black Lotus. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. It's a poison in Indian. Close enough. With a poisonous close flower. enough. So, close enough. Yeah, they'll say from the Black Lotus. How long are you here? What do you, what do you, what, we've never seen you here. We're here every day. Why? What what's uh what's going on with the laughing goblin? You guys probably don't even know why you're here either, huh? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, inside joke. Never mind. I love no, I get it. I love expeditions. I'm here to get coin for my own ship to take vengeance on the people that left me. Who left Some you? Some royalty, huh? Why would they leave someone like you stranded? Wouldn't you like to find out? You must be more problem than one can handle. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you do on the ship? I was just doing my job as a bosun. What were you doing? Were you doing the cooking? <laughs> the other thing I just... <laughs> Fat Surely you don't know what a bosun is then, <laughs> apparently, considering you're from a ship. Ah, is that what you were doing? Mm-hmm. Well, I meant no offense calling you royalty. Yeah, we just saw that you guys over there, your your, your fancy-dancy linens and your clothes and... Is that clothes are fancy? <laughs> I'm just wearing a robe, dude. <laughs> Leave me out of this. <laughs> These guys are dock workers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are daily work, daily paid dock workers. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And I'm a pirate. <laughs> Let me buy you a drink there, Sweet Cheeks. What do you have? By the sense of it, you ain't got any money. You're just running a tab. Eh. Ouch. That's okay. <laughs> Emma she'll she'll take care of it. Get whatever, get whatever, Sweet Cheeks here. Get it for her on the on the house. Get it to her on me. And she just kind of most expensive rum. <laughs> she she grumbles. <laughs> she grumbles big time. She gets it for you, and then she slides it down, and she says, "That's double for you now, Jarlin." She goes, "That's enough." <laughs> Fat Mar, he uh, kind of slides by you, helping the other tables out. 
Excuse me, lady friend. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I get a drink, I go thanks, and I go sit back to my party. Gosh. All right, we're gonna they, we're gonna be discussing on uh, I guess we have two options here: is uh, the ferryman or um, this woman uh, Leela. And we still don't know where this lighthouse is, or even... Uh, uh, three decks, would you know how to uh, navigate a boat? Yep. Yep, okay. So we might be able to navigate a boat to this lighthouse. Um, well, we the, the actual lighthouse, the, the, the old castle, is out on Thorn Island. So, Thorn Island I say is... It's an island that's in the harbor, basically. <clears throat> and it, it's definitely... You could probably swim, but it would be like trying to swim from Alcatraz to the mainland. That's no, that's the you. best way that I can that I can describe it. Do we have any mage hands that can get us over there? I say we just pay the uh, ferryman. That's let's right, just let's just option. roll out there. We don't have to worry about boats. We can just hop in the ferry. They'll take us over to the island. Let's do it before it gets too dark. Or I think I, we're gonna I be. I agree. All right, let's, let's head out. <clears throat> I got my Norm Tinkler, my Tinker Tool Tinkler, sorry. Well, I got my Tinker Tools just in case we need them. So Ulf, before we leave, Fat Mar comes back over. He says, how, how was cabbage soup? You like cabbage soup? I absolutely love cabbage soup. You did a great job, you and your uh, team of chefs back there. <laughs> your team of chefs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm wolf, gonna leave. Uh, Wolfgang back there. Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wolfgang. Wolfgang and uh, the little kids that they're trying to teach train yeah. back there. <laughs> yeah, Wolfgang Puck. Yeah. This so, place is awesome. So I'm gonna leave uh, a gold here. So what you find out about Tower? You not you, much. You find I I thought you go over there and beat him up. He's got a big mouth that jar. Be Don't push her, she would. Fatmar, what's your real name, Fatmar? Oh, I never thought you ask. Now you have to think of one. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, my name I'm is asking. Markov Hasselpond. Markov Hasselpond? Okay. Markov! 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 Hasselpond! M a r k o t h. I didn't say p. I said Markov. And he's trying to say t h, but what a p. <laughs> Markov Hasselpon. Okay. What does he look I'm like? Is he a regular human, Dave? Uh, he's definitely human. Yeah, he's. Okay. He's of. He's from the east. You know that he's from the far east. Far, far east Oriental. Uh, yeah, it would it would be equivalent uh, to the Orient, yes. Somewhere out in the east, uh, possibly in the in the deserts. So I check my room since we're about to head out. I'll check my room, raise my glass to the dude that paid for it, and leave. Power of Tal, thank you very much for the follow, Markov. It's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you. And I uh, bow to him. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, well, if you uh, you don't bow. know, maybe you maybe you ask two ladies in corner over there. They they might uh they might let you know something 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 mm. about one of one of their friend. They haven't seen maybe they haven't seen one of their friend from from the gods. I'm I'm not too sure. They were saying something to it when I when I walk up to the table, but they didn't they don't want cabbage soup. They said the soup was no good. <laughs> so they, they just drink. And I'm pinging the, the ladies right now. Is this the ladies he's talking about right here? Yes, they are sitting uh, along the wall with their, their backs facing the wall. They're sitting in the very northern part of of the Laughing Goblin. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Fatmar. So the first time I read about Fatmar, I'm like, this is this is unbelievable. I can't believe they're doing this to me. <laughs> <sighs> <clears throat> well, 
Well, uh, guys, I, I kind of shake the table a little bit. Everybody seems to be a little bit uh, uh, clouded with alcohol. Guys, let's go talk to those. <laughs> let's go talk to those ladies over there, and maybe we can learn a little bit more about what dangers are on the island. They say authorities come in here, Blackguard. Blackguard don't do not come in here, Buskulls. They come in laughing goblin and Buskulls. They don't do or anything. Buskulls. They but they Buskulls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Does he have a list? You, you know, you, you know, understand me? I'm no, just sort of hearing. We understand. About it. We understand. Uh, <laughs> you, you, f good. you figure they send soldier the black guard over to the, they, they send them over to the island, fix light. They don't do that. They lazy. So, <clears throat> the this lighthouse is out. No one has fixed it for some time now. Two days. Two days. Two days. And uh, we need travel over there. And these two ladies over here, they're... Um... There's lots of boats! <laughs> there are lots of boats, silly! <laughs> the what? Lots There's of boats? There's lots of boats. I, I said there are lots of boats! There's lots of boats, Boats! <laughs> you, you, you guys don't... You guys are killing me. No, we understand. <laughs> we just want to repeat yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say a little louder? Boats? <laughs> Can you write it down for us? <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my way over to these two ladies and introduce myself. So I'm like, hello ladies. My name is Zibbit Tinklebottom. Those are sure. guys. Oh, yeah, whatever. I was, 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 <laughs> <laughs> was going to say whatever. <laughs> My name is Zibbit Tinklebottom. I'm sure you guys have heard of us, the incredible adventurers from the uh, uh, helping out the town of Flan as of yet, as of late. We were just talking to Fat Ma, and uh, <clears throat> turns out that you guys know a little bit something about the lighthouse. I th we're, we're thinking of going over there and checking things out. What can you do? What can you tell us about it? Oh, well, we don't know. I've, I've never been over to the to, to the lighthouse. Who 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 said that we we don't work at the at the lighthouse? We have a, a couple friends that we know that 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 are supposedly over there, and we haven't heard from them for a while for a while. So, so, so how, who are your friends, and how long do they? Oh, let me just do this again. Sorry, rewind, Dave. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, who are your uh, friends, and how long? I said the exact same thing. Who are your friends, and and when was the last time that you heard from him? Uh, he's he's one of the guards, and he actually leads the the guard unit over on the island. And his name is uh, Sergeant Grimm. And we we haven't heard from him for some quite for quite some time now. One of the other Have, one of the other girls, uh, you know, one of the other women. They they introduce themselves as uh, Caria, and. A ravel. Carry is on the left, and a ravel is on the right. And a ravel, um, she tells you that uh, <laughs> that Carrie has it in for a uh, for old Sergeant Grimm there, and she should probably leave him alone because he's a he's a foolhardy man uh, who is usually in debt to the wrong sort of people. And she kind of chuckles. And then uh, she said that he also spends his time, his off-duty time, trying to come up with ways to, uh, you know, get rich quick schemes. Who does he usually uh, owe money to, owe debts to anyone uh, of importance? Eh, just gamblers. Okay. A lot of so, the, uh, a lot of the dog workers, <coughs> they, you know, you know, he doesn't owe money to a, a half work or anything like that, right? No. Well, I don't, I don't even... I, I don't even know a half-orc. She says, I don't even know of a half-orc. Not in Flan, anyways. I mean, sometimes when the, they'll come in from the boats, but... Uh, no. Well, um... So, uh... I'm kind of talking to... I kind of lean towards... Uh, our, my team here. And I'm like... Well, so maybe we should go look for this Grim as well. It sounds like there's more than one thing that we can do when we get over there. No, yeah. old, old Sergeant Grim has defended uh, Eigen Sockel. 
He's the, the quartermaster that's in charge of the keep over there. Uh, the kid's somewhat naive, though. I mean, he's he's enthusiastic and all when it comes to running the, the keep, but uh, he just lack, lacks, lacks experience. And sort of like it's it's been a... An, an, Carious, you know, he, he's new to the keep as well, and he was probably put there as punishment uh, when the when the other part of the family moved out. <clears throat> How old is this uh, this this Ivan Suckle, this kid? Oh, he's he's in his early twenties. Quartermaster. Okay, where's he? Uh, where's he? Where's he? Uh, uh, where's he proficient in this quartermaster? Where's he uh, training? Quarters. <laughs> some say he casts magic. Some say that he wields magic. Or he's a novice at wielding magic. Okay. Yeah, but ever since the, the family moved out, uh, they basically kept him there, and and the sergeant said it was, it was probably penalty. Because they, they really left him nothing but... And they, they pay the guard. They pay the sergeant. Well, they actually play, pay the black guard to, you know, keep an eye on the keep in, in case anybody tries to, you know, go into the, you know, the crypts. Or supposedly there's, you know, stories of it used to be a temple and, you know, the, the, there's a lot of hidden treasure under underneath. and But, you know, the you know, rumor is, is this, uh, this new steward or this new, uh, you know, quartermaster that's running it uh, supposedly is trying to find this as well so I mean and I have a, the sergeant's kind of taken taken a liking to him because he did mention that to him several times he wants to make a get rich quick <laughs> good, did, does, do these girls ask her do they know anything about the um this hunted place this hunted woman that's hunting you know hunting the the hunting woman I mean, the haunted? There's this H -A -U -N -T, woman. H a u n t haunting. Yeah. I have no clue what you're talking about. What do you mean by the haunting? You said there was like a ghost or something. A woman there? Oh, there's uh supposedly the the story is there's there's no woman there. I never said there was a woman there. It's that ghosts were were you know the word is the rumor is the you know the legend is. There's ghosts that are haunting the tombs and the crypts under the under the under that castle slash White House lighthouse. Sorry. Okay. okay. I uh I uh go ahead I and uh, bow up. my head to them. I think we've got enough information <clears throat> to be able to to make our way over there. Guys? Maybe ask them where's the, um the ferryman or the uh, lead line is. Uh, you could probably, you could also probably talk to uh, Guard Hearn over at the Blackfist Post by the docks. He might be able to give you some more information. Maybe even get your ride out to. I'm not sure if they would allow you out on the island. So that that's something that uh, you would actually have to ask Guard Hearn. Okay, so so it doesn't sound like just anybody can go out to the island, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 